After you have tested a student using the Woodcock Johnson 4, you need to input the scores into the online scoring software. This is at wjscore.com. You should receive an email with your login information from HMH. If you do not have login information, please contact Sarah Nickel. After you log in, you need to first add an examinee. Scroll down to the bottom in the middle and click Add Examinee. Enter in the required information and choose a caseload folder. And then click Save. You will automatically be prompted to add a test record. As a teacher, you would add the Tests of Achievement form, A, and Extended. For school psychologists, Tests of Cognitive Abilities. Choose the test and click Continue. Next, enter the required information here. Don't forget to enter their grade. Then you can begin entering the scores. The first box is the raw score that you show, received when you scored the student's test. The second box is the qualitative observation, which is the questions that are below each test in the protocols. After you have filled in the information. You can get a report. Note that for oral reading items and reading recall, you do have to enter an X in a subtest in, in the subtest that you did not use. If the student has six errors, you do need to make sure you type in six errors where they are allocated. You can also enter test session observations. These questions are on the front of the protocol. Once you have completely filled in your test, test scores, you can commit the test record. If you need to come back to enter scores at a later time, you can save that and access it later. It will prompt you if you did not put an X in all of the boxes to do that. Okay, the information has saved, but in order to, to sim, uh, create a report, we do have to commit the test record. So if we are complete, we commit test record. You can still go back to edit the scores if you need to. Down here, you click Run Report. Score Report will give you what you need to enter the information into C's Smart Eval. So if you do that directly from where you enter the scores, you do not have to select the student as they are automatically selected. The normative base is always on age, and you can select the age grade te template that was created in order to give you the information that you need. You can choose how you want the scores to be grouped, and you can choose the output format. Then you can click Run Report. Notice it loads to the left hand corner. You will have to open, click to open it. And here's the information you need 
moving forward. If you already entered an examinee and just want to go enter in the data, then you have to find the examinee after you log in in your recent examinees. Here you can edit the examinee or share with your school psychologist or add a test record. If you've already begun a test record, then you can click on the student's name and edit. Then you can commit or run report. Commit it again if you have made changes. And then you can run your report again with the new information. If you already have the test information in there and you just want to create a report or you need to create a report from an old test, you create report up at the top, <laughs> select score report, type in the student's name, and then go through the steps as we did before, and run report. Another report that's beneficial to use is the parent report. This report gives you test descriptions as well as where they fall <laughs> on this continuum. The next video in this series will show you how to input this information into C Smart Eval.